The following interview was conducted with John Sauer for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on October 28, 2017 at Boilermaker Station in the Purdue Memorial Union. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. So to get us started, could you tell me when you were at Purdue and what you studied here? Uh, I entered Purdue in uh, 1967, mm -hmm. and I was here two years until 1969. Uh, my original major was mathematics. Uh, then I took a brief hiatus. Uh, I joined the Marine Corps, and I came back to Purdue in 75, and I graduated in 77. And my major was a dual major, was uh, history and political science. Mm -hmm. That's what I finished up with. So you switched the majors yes. between your two times on campus. Okay. Um, do you remember when you first came to Purdue? Like your first time on campus, do you remember that? Uh, I, I do. Uh, actually, I came up with uh, a friend of mine. Uh, he and his parents, uh, we came up for a visit on campus. Uh, on, on the way up, we stayed at uh, Turkey Run State Park. <laughs> Where were you coming from? Uh, Evansville. Evansville. Yeah. And uh, uh, what impressed me was the continuity of, of the buildings. And, uh, you know, to use a phrase, the old look is kind of a little misleading, but, you know, it had a, a very, uh, uh, I guess, very solid appearance to it. Mm -hmm. Did you know going in that you wanted to study mathematics? I did. I did. did you join any clubs or student organizations? Uh, I joined a fraternity. I was a Delta Chi. Did you return to the fraternity when you came back? I did not. Uh, I lived off campus when I came back. Uh, the fraternity was totally different uh, in that short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, when when I was here originally, Delta Chi was noted for their parties. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came back uh, in 75, uh, total switch. They were noted for their academics. <laughs> you know, and the few times uh, I was at the fraternity house, uh, uh, not to say that they didn't want to have fun, but it just was a totally different type of fun. Mm -hmm. It's an unusual switch. <laughs> it was, it was. Uh, yeah. Didn't feel like I really fit in. So. Mm -hmm. It changed quickly. Did you have a job while you were a student? Uh, I went home on some weekends. Uh, I worked for my father. So uh, on, uh, on some weekends I would go back to Evansville to work. Okay. But I did not work while I was here. Mm -hmm. um, were there any places on campus that you particularly enjoyed spending your time, either studying or free time? Uh, free time, I spent a lot of, a lot of my free time on the... Uh, uh, then it was called the South Golf Course, mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, my first and only hole in one was on the fifteenth hole on the South Course. It was, a, uh, uh, from what I understand, when Pete and I redid it this time, they did away with that hole or they changed it completely. It was a two hundred and thirty-one yard par three. Wow. Uh, I played mostly the South Course. I also played the North Course, but I enjoyed the South Course a lot more. Do you have any particular memories that jump out to you when you think about your time here as a student? Uh, well, I, I guess considering I was here twice, I guess there were multiple, uh, multiple memories. Uh, you know, the, the first time uh, I enjoy spending a lot of time with the, the fraternity brothers. Uh, we did a lot of interesting things. Uh, some, as my wife alluded to earlier, some of them uh, did not particularly help my uh, GPA. <laughs> Maybe things we don't want to put on tape. <laughs> well, there's there's a few things that I would refuse to put on tape. I, you know, I, I'm certain the statute of limitations is long past overdue. But uh, uh, yeah, there's a, a couple of interesting stories that uh, that would be very humorous. But I, I think I'll keep those to myself. <laughs> or at least not on tape, I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, when I came back to school uh, the second time, 
Uh, I did work full time then. I had a 40 hour job, mm-hmm. uh, went to school. Uh, Where did you work? I worked at, uh, it was called uh, Glidden Furniture on the bypass. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, I worked there the entire time I was, I was here. Okay. So that time period, there was uh, a lot happening on campus. There were political protests. Uh, you know, the, the first time, 67 to 69, uh, probably have a gathering from my political leaning, uh, joining the Marine Corps. But uh, myself and, and the, my fraternity brothers uh, were not very fond of the... Uh, liberal protests that were going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, my philosophy was just leave them alone, turn the press off, do not advertise them, and they'll go away by themselves. Mm-hmm. But of course everybody has to put everything on tape and, you know, so the more you uh, uh, broadcast what they do, the more they want to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, they were very disruptive on, on campus at that time. Uh, they would block you from going to class. Uh, and uh, in fact, some of my fraternity brothers uh, would have preferred that we uh, took a little bit more uh, stronger stance against them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was not the proper thing to do. Okay. And it, was there still that kind of tension in the air your second time through, or do you think most of that had faded? All that was gone. Okay. Yeah, all that was gone. Uh, Vietnam had concluded, uh, and there was virtually no hint of uh, any type of a protest or Mm -hmm. uh, residual from that. Uh, The biggest residual was that uh, even even then uh, students resented those of us who were in the military. There was resentment on campus? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The military were not uh, looked favorably on at that time. That's too bad. Um, do you often make it back to campus? You're here today for the first uh, time. Not as much as I would like to, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, I guess the first time that I came back to really spend a lot of time was uh, when the uh, Cancer Center opened up uh, their research department. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm a member of the Elks, and we're a major supporter of the Cancer Center. And so they invited a large number of us mm-hmm. to come back up to tour the, the research center. And it was extremely uh, impressive. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. And that's uh, the times I've been back. In fact, that's why we're up here today. We'll spend the game uh, with the Cancer Center people. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, do you, have you taken time to, to look around campus while you're here or uh, recently? Not today. The last time we came up... Uh, we in, in thirteen. In thirteen, uh, I shall sit around the campus. The weather was a little bit more conducive to mm-hmm. wandering around campus uh, than, it, than it is today. Mm-hmm. So uh, we came up a little bit early uh, in hopes of uh, doing some more sightseeing around campus. But you know, it's not a good day to be out. It's not at all a good day to be out. <laughs> what do you think about Purdue or the campus or the environment has changed the most? in your experience? Uh, well, the, the, the campus is, I don't want to say it's more walking friendly, but uh, doing away with the drive through uh, through the fountain, uh, that's a good thing, but it's a bad thing. Uh, I think that was a very impressive entrance for visitors to campus, mm-hmm. uh, driving into, in, uh, to, through, and around uh, the fountain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, the, the, the campus is, a, is an impressive layout, you know, and, uh, you know it's, it's something that uh, really needs to be viewed. Uh, and I think some of the old buildings, you know, University Hall and some of the others, uh, probably need to be advertised more uh, about their age, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, lasting durability. Sure, you think they should get some more attention yes. as, as landmarks yeah. on campus. Yeah. I'd like to see that, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Purdue has, has stayed the same or has been consistent? 
Uh, the consistency is, uh, is its academic excellence. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, their sports excellence is, wasn't, especially in football, wasn't as good as when I was here. But <laughs> They're working on it. <laughs> but they've had their ups and downs. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, their, their academic, uh, you know, this is probably uh, an under-advertised school for mm -hmm. excellence. Uh, you know, you hear more about some of their graduate schools instead of their undergrad excellence that mm -hmm. they have here. You know, most people are unaware that they have a phenomenal pharmacy uh, department, mm -hmm. uh, the Craner School of Business. Uh, you know, it, it's Purdue is still viewed strictly as a quote unquote agricultural school, mm -hmm. uh, which it's far from that. Right. You know, that's one of those stories I can't put on put on the tape is uh, visiting to the to one of the Purdue farms, but uh, you know their engineering department, uh, you know, is, is by far uh, has a bigger you know viewpoint, mm -hmm. uh, and with the uh, sort of with the downturn of the astronaut program, it, it doesn't get as much. Uh, notoriety is, is when we were putting people uh, upstairs a lot. Mm -hmm. Were you still on campus at the time of the moon landing? Do you uh, remember in '69? It would have been the summer. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember that? Uh huh. Was there a lot of yeah. Purdue pride around that? Uh, not as much as you would think. Really? Uh, the the pro liberal protesting took over everything. Okay. So the, the positive things that the university uh, did uh, did not get as much press. Hmm. Wow. Negativity always gets more press, just on TV. Mm -hmm. It's true. Do you have any other uh, memories or, or stories from your time here as a student that you would like to share? Oh. <laughs> Uh, so just, when when I when I came back in, uh, in the winter of seventy six, I believe it was. Uh, it was one one day the high temperature was minus seventeen. Oh wow! And I was living off campus, and of all days for my car and the starter to go out, so I walked. Uh, it's about two and a half miles, so I walked to school and then I walked back home because uh, I worked that night. Mm -hmm. and so that was an interesting hike. You made it. Uh, you know, it was just something you did. <laughs> you know. But you know, as far as I guess, just it, it was a it was a very contented time to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess that was the overall. Uh, Memory is, uh, you know, it's, could have stayed a full-time student. Okay. Well, thank you. Do you have any any last comments or, or thoughts? Anything you'd like to comment on before we wrap up today? Mm, not really. Okay. Well, thank you for talking to me today. Okay.